All right, there we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh, here it is. Ew, that face. <laughs> Not gonna lie. When I was little, I always thought the thing he was carrying, which is obviously a helmet. I always thought that was like a, a like a one of those basketballs, you know. I don't know why. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome to Ring of Red. Now, I took a little break, but we're back. And we're coming back with a goddamn game that I love. <laughs> hopefully, I'll complete it. Maybe, hopefully, I won't give up on it. <laughs> the year was 1946, with Japan defiance of the Pope. Potsdam con Conference. Ultimatum and its call for absolute resistance! Fuck! The conflict sparked by a brutal invasion came to an end after massive civilian casualties and the Soviets' entry into the fray. So the Soviets took North Japan? Or North Island? The resulting division of the country, once called Japan by the occupying allied forces, came to reflect the often uneasy relations that existed among those powers and gave the rise to countless human tragedies. In 1950, the yearning for reunification of the North and South combined with the issues of economic disparity and the unresolved questions of reparation to the continent of Brad. And without any formal declaration or intent, the Japan War raged for over four years, once again laying the... Ar what the fuck is that word? To waste. <laughs> The peace agreement at the end of those four years became a covert battleground of international alliances and communist power, brokering, failing to provide any resolution of the strife-torn nation. The dream of re reunification spoken on both sides of the north-south border was left as a question mark. <laughs> Ten years passed, it was 1964. It would be the year that I would come to remember with terrible clarity. Prologue, Crimson Phantom. Holy shit! <laughs> Shooting training. God. You know, this guy looks German, but I think he's Japanese, right? Greetings, all. I am Christoph Schringen. Schringen? Schringen. Shrinjin. So our project leader. I'm just going to call you Chris. Sorry, Chris. You're both here because you have been selected for Komitsu Industrials Test Piloting Program. I hope I said that right. And we'll be participating in the evaluation of next generation AFWs for the South and J Japanese forces. Messami von Reiziger. You know, I wish I had knighted here. He would he would really help me out here. He would he would really help me out here. Holy shit. Present. Okay, there you go. You will be evalu evaluating <laughs> vehicle type 01. It's a Kometsu prototype 100% made in Japan. A domestic AFW. Must be a solid model. It is. There are no backup models. Take good care of it. Trust me, alright? I'm a professional. No, you're you're a trainee. Okay. Let's get that. Ryoko Minakawa. <laughs> Present. You will be piloting the type 2. This one was a joint effort by Kometsu and Nye Bellin? Can handle anything. What I really want is to join up. All right, Colonel. Would you like to take over from here? And here's Colonel. Of course. See, Colonel kind of wears like a navy suit, right? I mean, the hat. No, no, it looks like it. Kind of reminds me of Air Force. I don't know why. He's probably he's probably just dressed up as. But the other guy, he looked German. Did he not? He looked legit German. Now listen up. Both of you, I am Colonel Rodriguez. I can say that name pretty good. And I am in charge of running the squadron. Okay, now that he said Rodriguez, he does look American. 
will start you two off by testing the new targeting and firing system. The vehicles need some warning, oh, warming up, sorry, not warning, and will use a practice ammunition for the first set. Pay special attention to ammunition loading and the timing of the firing during your evalu evaluation. Merely after we complete testing, you will take both 1 and 2 into mock combat. The purpose is to test how well the cannons fire over different distances. I've let this tell the end, but we also have a special consultant who is more qualified than anyone else to assist us. She is here from not fuck me a man. What it Naya Bellin? Komitsu Industries German partner in the AFW development division. They're all yours. See, okay, she's German. And she kinda wears the same hat as a as the uh colonel. Unless they made her wear dress up like like that. Call me Matil Matilda? My field is AFW Procurement and Maintenance. Before I'd be seeing quite a lot of each other, but for now, that's about it. Thank you. We'll go over the basic navigational controls and firing techniques on the training field. Deploy when ready. Alright. Yeah, sorry. Fuji, Proving Ground, Weapons Hanger. Hey, you talking to me? Yes, these guys really like each other. They like to just bash heads with each other. I've heard about you. I've heard you were one of the best students at Fuji. Real ace pilot. So they say. An ace, te an ace test pilot. What are you saying? <laughs> She's saying that you fucking suck. There's a big difference between the field and testing range. I hope you're prepared to find out. Oh, she threatened us. Holy shit. She wants to kick her ass. Yeah, this beginning part, I will say, it has a lot of dialogue. But once we get out of, like, the prologue and the training area, we'll, we'll, um... There's not gonna be too much dialogue besides, like, mission briefings. In a minute, you'll be evaluating on your marksmanship before we start live fire practice. Let me explain a few things about AFW Combat. These few pieces of information can mean the difference between survival and death on the field for a pilot, though I hardly need to stress that for a class of overachievers like yourselves. Victory conditions, kill a target. Lose conditions, going over the day one 1900 time limit. Let's bring you up to date on team movement and attack procedures. A team is represented by a marker on the map. Remember that a team cannot be given action commands until it is that team's turn in the rotation. When the squad's turn comes, we say that the squad is on hand. No need for me to repeat myself. But squad squadrons that are not on hand cannot be made to move or attack. Place a cursor on a team that is on hand and enter. And it's al allow allowable? Fields of movement and attack range are displayed. Blue squares is movement, yellow squares is attack. Note that the attack range cannot be added to the field of movement. You cannot move and attack in the same turn. Place the cursor on the destination square, then enter. So you can't move and attack, but I do that all the time. See, it's even saying that right there. Attacking is only an option when you have an enemy team to target within range. Similarly, your recovery cannot be selected unless there, are, there is damage to the AFW or the soldiers. Select attack in the button screen. Team's attack range comes up on display. Crosshair will appear on enemy teams. Within the range of attacks, enter the be to begin firing on the selected enemy team. Field starting distance is determined by how far away our teams are from. Enemy teams in the game plan. Attacking from an adjoining square means a short starting distance. Whereas, so attacking in a, like a plus area is short distance and attacking from like an X area is uh, like medium distance. Because they all have their like, they all have their um, each, each mech in this game has its own like um, preferred targeting. Prefer range. 
This guy, this guy with the long barrel, he kind of prefers medium-ish, medium, medium long-ish because of his long barrel. And then uh, Ryoka's or the other AFW that we have right now, she's preferred as like medium and short. The shorter she is, the better she is. Um, and anything greater than two squares translates into a long starting grade distance. Yeah. You'll you'll see the mechs for those. They're they're called crabs, I think. Crab walkers. They're they're just, they don't really have any fists. They're just kind of really low to the ground. They're like tanks but with legs. At the present, our attack range falls short of launching for a long range attack. Each AFW model has a strong and weak distance when it comes to range of attacks. Light AFW, short range. They're called ducks. <laughs> AFW, medium range. Anti-FW, CC range. Um, I never, never could figure out what anti-AFW is, but there are always ones that have like two arms. And their barrels are like, they do have like barrels, but the barrels are so like small and like shriveled up into the mech itself that I think it is pretty hard for them to shoot from long and medium. So they're always just preferring to be short ranged. Four leg AFW. Those are the those are the crab walkers. These optimum distances become clear during combat and AFW attack power varies radically. Depending on target distance, this means that creating combat situations where each team can attack at its optimum distance is a large part of the battle strategy. That's it for the development and attack briefing. Do you need to go over this again? No! That's, yeah, that's just a dummy. So, it's target, for it, what well, it's saying for preferred for mine is medium range. So, just for shits and giggles, we'll go medium range. I never knew what land effect is. Like, it says land effect better for him than me. I don't know if that's like movement speed or what. Because you can't actually move your mech. That's the thing. You can't move your mech only forward and backwards, but that's about it. You have to really luck out on dodging by either moving at a distance to where the enemy is not like suitable for it. Greetings and salutations, Nighten. How are you doing, buddy? There we go. It look it'll look weird right now because no one's loading the barrel. But when once you have soldiers, they do load the barrel. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to get closer, you just press up, and then you're going to get closer. If you want to move backwards, you can. Your targeting gauge is at 55% right now. So that's how, that's what it'll be when you see the targeting screen up. It's going to just be 55. Should be good right now. I always like to do like... Oh shit, I, I killed it. Wow. That poor truck. Destroy the target. Take it out. I did. What are you on about? I did take it out. Took it out with ease. All right, now let's see you in Ryo Ryoko try a mock combat. Roger, wouldn't it be a mock battle? Okay, was it Masami? Sorry, I don't think I've ever caught your full name. Greetings and salutations, postman! My name is Wei Zager. Don't call me Masami, okay? It's my Japanese name. Masami. I hope I said that right, but just doesn't feel like it's mine. But Masami is your given name, isn't it? It does don't I don't like the way it sounds, just don't call me that, edgy. Okay, okay, I'll give I'll go, sorry, I'll not give. I'll go with Wayzager. 
but it's kind of long. Why if I call you Wei? As long as it's not massive me. <laughs> Next, we look at rotation to terrain. When a team concludes its action, the standby interval kicks in. The standby interval refers to the waiting period until the team is on hand again. The more complex the action performed, the longer the waiting period. I did not know that actually. If you compare two of the possible actions, standby on the spot and recuperate after a move, the simpler action in this case, standby, results in a shorter waiting period for the team. Time of each team's coming. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Yeah, this is this was the first game I played. This is what made me want to play games. This was and it sucks because this game did not get a hit at all. This I think I think it didn't get popular at all. They only sold like a small amount of copies. This is a strategy game. Yes, and is it free? Dude, it's not available. <laughs> I'm using an emulator just to play this game. No, it, Konami wanted this game gone so bad that nowhere, you can't find this nowhere. Like I said, they only sold like maybe a few thousand copies because they did not, it did not perform so well for some reason. But fuck, I love this game. This is what, this is what made me legitly play games. Once I played this game, I was like, shit, man, I want to play more. The O indicates whether it's night or daytime. To the upper left is information on the currently selected terrain. The terrain is information contains terrain name, additionally time value, and terrain level. Okay, this now they're talking about terrain. The additional time value indicates a terrain surface condition. The greater the value, the longer the team's standby interval until the next turn. So, okay. The terrain level refers to the elevation of the land. Your view will always be restricted by the terrain at a higher point than where you are pre presently located in. Other words, you will not be able to see what is on the other side of a level 3 mountain from a level 1 plane. The squares that are within your range of vision appear brighter and you can access information on enemy teams located in those squares. That's everything you need to know on this subject. Need me to start over? No, I do not. Yeah, once, once, once it, we get past a tutorial, this shit gets crazy. Oh god, like I said, the beginning is just a lot of dialogue. Wait, do you copy? Fuck you, Ryoko. Way here. Never seen combat. How do you expect to keep up with me, bitch? What matters is how fa what matters is how fast and precise I can pilot this thing, and I won't lose you, stupid bitch. <laughs> I'm really pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Oh boy. Mock battle or not, I'm not going to hold back. So she, this is the part of range she wants to be in. So we got, oh no, we're in medium. Oh, she wants to go backwards too. No, she's moving forward. Oh shit. I always wait until it's like 70%, 75. Just a much. There we go. 39 damage? Oh, shit. Okay, well, she got me there. Music got glitched. Ah, just like. You know, and this is not a shocker. The music did glitch when um, when I was playing it, the game. The game I want to say it had some audio bugs. I think that's why the game wasn't that popular. But gosh, damn! Like I can ignore the music. What the fuck? That was eighty. Oh shit! 
Uh, hey, don't. Fuck, man. Dude, she's ahead. This is not good. We're getting into her range, too. We should be okay. She's in that stance. Let's hit her. Oh, fuck! Uh, you can hit an enemy AFW's gun and or legs in this game. If you hit their gun, they do reduce damage. Fuck, man! She's really hitting me. I got messed up there. Holy shit. But yeah, when you hit their gun. Great, that transmission's so stiff it's a joke. Can't run too well in this thing either. Cutting edge of my ass. Let's recover. <laughs> wow. Dude, I know, right? This game is so goddamn fun. And the thing is, they both have close combat, too. If there's a mech with a fist, you can walk up to the other one and you can literally punch them. And it becomes like a pu like a, a punching fight. And it's so cool, too. And there's, there's multiple, there's like, for your teammates, you're kind of restricted with the mechs you're kind of given, unfortunately, which I would love to play some of the enemy mechs. Because there's one enemy mech that's like the main boss, and that one has like two barrels that he can fire at once, and he has two fists at the same time. So he's supposed to be like an anti-AFW, normal AFW. Fuck, I'm gonna be far away, so I... Shit. Alright, you know what? Let's change up strategies. We're going to walk at you. Because it seems like every time I go long distance, she hits me directly. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 75. Am I supposed to lose to her? I mean, I, I usually win this fight, but I'm doing way less... <laughs> yeah, once you have infantry in this game, which is, I think, two missions more, because the next one's supposed to be another tutorial. Once you have once you have infantry in this game, this game becomes a lot harder. Because the infantry can, what, like, wire the enemy AFW's legs up so they can't walk or move. Um... There's like a flashbang and a smoke grenade that can, they can do to like blind the enemy, uh, the enemy's like vision. If it's nighttime, they can have like a, uh, a flare that they shoot up into the sky. So that way your team can see more in the dark than the enemy team. Your AFW can attack infantry or their AFW. Damn, this is definitely not what I've expected. I won't throw a match for you, and I don't expect you to do it either. Luckily, I healed. Alright, that's it for today's performance evaluation. Good job, both of you. You'll do this again tomorrow, but with different variables. <laughs> Take the vehicles into the maintenance yard. Okay. Alright. <laughs> um, but like I said, if you hit an AFW's legs, which is totally random, as far as I know. It's like legs and gun. Nothing else, but if you hit their legs, they have reduced movement speed, and if you hit their legs again, they're immobile, so they can't move anymore. If you hit their gun, hitting the gun is probably the worst part, too. Because if you hit their gun, they do reduce damage, they have reduced accuracy, and I think also reduced loading time. So that, it completely fucks up your mech when you get, when your gun gets hit. Um... Though, when you go in recovery, you can heal those stats, or if an infantry has a uh, stat called repair or fast repair, they can repair your gun or legs 
So that way, even if the enemy got a direct hit on your legs or gun, they can repair it and it's like you won't have those negative effects. Homing shot's really good because there's infantry that focus other infantry or infantry that focuses on mechs. However, you seem to have forgotten that this is an ev Yes, I know, dickbag. Calm down. Hey, Colonel, hold on a sec. She's not the one that... I will not listen to excuses. Return to your quarters, both of you, and wait for the next exercise. Expect better conduct next time dismiss. Yes, sir. Damn it, what the heck did they... You can say hell. Or you know what? Here, I got something better. What the fuck did they think they were doing? <laughs> Anything the matter, Colonel? Have those two already damaged the prototypes? No, the vehicles are fine. It's the people piloting them that need fixing. Those two are... I think he is. This one's German. Sorry to interrupt, Colonel, but I noticed that your new test pilots have deaf command of the machines. Very impressive. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> we really can't have everyone wandering into restricted access sections, you know. He He's going to be one of our pilots. He's going to control one of the duck AFWs, or the light ones, sorry. I call them duck AFWs because if you see what they look like, they legit look like ducks. I have some interest in the directions the next generation AFWs are taking, you see. <laughs> for, oh, for fuck's sake, what's next? A public viewing? The crabs, the crab walkers are really scary when they're at long range. You never want to mess with a crab when it's at long range. Because they, they will hurt you. Like, they, their damage can be potentially up to, like, I think 100 in this game, which is probably the highest. Fuck, I wish I could read this text, but it goes way too fast for me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna be silent and let you guys read. <laughs> this is technically a cutscene, so there you go. Is he holding a helmet? What's he? What's he holding on that his hand? No, no, that's a, that's a uh, fucking. Oh my god. That's, um, shit. I forgot what they're called. But he's just, he's exiting his AFW. Which I wonder what AFW means. You know, I think, I think I looked it up like a long time ago, but I forgot about it. I'm gonna look it up. I don't even think they have a good wiki either. I don't think any- and No one has done anything for this game. Like, this game is almost non-existent on the internet. Is this- Is this- That's a walkthrough, so at least- That's kind of new, the site. I don't know what AFW- I don't know what AOW is. Shit, man. That sucks. I wish I knew. You will now be briefed on your mission. I've gone over both your evaluation reports on your shooting training. They provide some valuable information. Good work. Got to hand it to you. I didn't expect to be beaten. Predictable outcome, I say. Oh, shit. They're still talking shit with each other. Type 3 will finally be joining you today for a demonstration. Type 3, I didn't see at all during the testing. 3 is the top of the line model for a Nibelin. Ni I had a hand in its development as a matter of fact. Final adjustments took longer than ex they expected and it only received a go ahead for performance evaluation today. Looks a little fragile. <laughs> Looks could be deceiving. 3's assault capabilities far outrank both 1 and 2's. Scary thought. Anyway, what about our mission? Of course, scary on, Colonel. Yes, sir. Listen up, both of you. It's time you had a taste of real combat. Today, you and Type 3 will engage each other under combat conditions. Actual combat? It's another mock-up. <laughs> All units will be armed with training ammunition. Close combat is out of bounds in order to safeguard the vehicles. We will be piloting Type 3. 
Shinji Kirishima, one of Dai Billen's own pilots. He's also a former Southern Japanese Forces man. He should be here by now. What's taking them so long? Colonel. Theory is already out on the training field. Nani! <laughs> Both of you are prepared to deploy. Don't let Kirishima warm up before you. So yeah, the Type 3 is the one that has double, like, he can... He can hit you with two fists, and he can also shoot you two times. He's he's basically the few, uh, the like the strongest A of W out there. An infamous Type Three, Nibelin's secret weapon. Not everyone, everything I've heard about that machine has been good. You worry too much. I have it from headquarters that the model was developed specifically for use in Japan. I sincerely hope that this is the case. What is it that you're afraid of? Nothing important. It's about to start. Yeah, that fucking mech. It's also a lot faster, too. So if you try to escape from it, it can always just charge at you. In a second, we'll start the mock battle training, load the practice ammunition. According to instructions, we may be simulating real combat, but remember that this is strictly for training purposes. Close combat is therefore forbidden as a safety precaution. Yes, I know. Victor conditions annihilate all enemies. Destruction of Waysakers, AFW, are going over day two. Alright. Hey! Are you Japanese? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I'm going to ask you again. Are you Japanese? Why? No. My father is German, like I said. And if being Japanese means sharing that title with you, I'm not interested. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Gosh, damn! <laughs> And you shouldn't be. Of course, even if you insisted you were Japanese, I doubt you could find any anyone would believe you. Yeah, it's this fucking mech. Here he is. Uh, he'll demonstrate his firepower too right here. Isn't that fucking cool? His arms literally turn into cannons. <laughs> and you can't do anything here because this demonstrates close combat. So she's a beauty, I should have no problem. Looks like their bodies are tanks. Well, actually, it looks like the lower part, too, except they took the tracks and replaced it with legs, at least for that one. Does mine look like that? Mine's more kind of slicker. Uh oh Ow. Yeah, he fucks me up pretty good. <laughs> Dude, I would so love, like, a remake of this game. Turned out just as I thought. I would love a remake of this game. This game, a remake version of it? Oh my god, that would be just beautiful. But it's, it's, it's a forgotten game, so I don't, ex I don't think it's gonna ever be remade. Damn it, a direct shot from this close? Are you out of your mind? Type 3! Crazy's fire! You know that close combat is strictly forbidden! Type 3, respond. Kirishima, this is an order. Hey, hey, welcome back, bud. Greetings and salutations, Diamond Bay. Welcome back. We have a situation? Situation, sorry. They've just found the bodies of Shinji Kirishima and the Type 3 AW technician. They've been murdered. <laughs> What? Kirishima? What's going on around here? Who the he who the hell is on Type 3? Right now! This is Type 3, do you copy? You know, he does look like he would have a, like, Western accent. I might just do that. 
this is time three. Do you copy? I'll be taking this ride back with me. Don't worry, it'll be used for the common good and the realization of a superior ideal. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Is it a tactical game? Yes, and it's also a, uh, for from this you do like strategies and then when it's actually them fighting they do uh they do uh fighting yeah you'll see in a second this by the way just a reminder to you diamond Bay, this was the game that made me love games <laughs> this is a playstation 2 game that did not do well i have to keep saying that too because i'm so fucking shocked this game did not sold too well it did not sell at all there were only like a few thousand copies. And I think they the company lost profit too from making this game. Who the heck do you think you are? You're not going anywhere. Oh, crafting some amateur's hands will make good use of it. I can assure you that. Shit, I'm not doing their accents. Ten years pass. You are north. Damn it. Type one and two. Pursue type three immediately. Don't let the northerners get a hold of the vehicle. He caught me napping. It was point blank. No warning. Looks like you can still move. We're going after him. Understood? I think I need to be told who is he anyway. The colonel said northerners. North Japan, you know. North Japan Japanese? Well, I don't care who he is. I'm going to get him. Replace the training ammunition with the real thing right now while we got the time. Life rounds. Yes. <laughs> what? You scared? Put a lid on it, will ya? Wait, listen. You get hit by one of those, you die. You understand? I'm not an amateur. I don't get hit. Okay. Now that you're being way too cocky. I hope you know what you're doing. Hey, wait. That bastard, he called me a... What did he call you? You say something? No, come on. Let's go. The last time I checked, you weren't in any shape to give the orders around here. So, this fight... Is completely one-sided even if she attacks him he she will get fucked and he escapes anyway this I do remember so you're so I'm just gonna sit here and recover cuz yeah cuz look at that he moves like five spots oh boy does he move fast he, he's not a novice I can tell you that Yeah, there's just no way that we can even catch up to him. Bastard, wait till I get you. <laughs> okay, let's recover over here. There we go. Gosh damn. Captain Keho, you did it! Good to see you, pilot. The Albatross is ours, just as we have planned. So this is the Albatross, amazing. I need to do his fucking western accent! The mission was a success, it's time to withdraw. Yes sir, we'll hold them back to give you a window. Good luck, I'm in your hands. So yeah, these two mechs, they're light AFWs, but they're, I, we call them ducks. Me and my sister when she, when she used to watch this game. Cause they legitly look like ducks. Light AFW, we got the superior firepower. We got better firepower, they have better movement speed. And I think that's it. Captain, get the albatross back north. You have to make it. The loyal army? That's interesting. I think with ducks, they are just really good. They, they just really avoid close combat. I always try to melee them though. So unfortunately, yeah. See, this is this is what happens when you close combat them. I think you have to hit them in the legs before you do it, or else they can just dodge. I, I'm trying to remember. 
Because I think they have a really high evasion. Shit, the 3D! <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's, it becomes like a strategy platform into a 3D like fighting platform. And yeah, you don't, you can't really move your mech too much. It's just kind of forward and backwards. But you still have like ability to move the mech. And then once you see the crawlers, the crawlers are really scary. They don't do anti-AFWs until like really later in the game. Hell, you don't even get one until later in the game. Holy shit, is that 19%? Because it's nighttime. So, Duck's accuracy is close range. So, the further you are from them, the, uh, the worse their range is. But if I can hit his legs, that would be nice. And commonly ducks, yeah, that, that's your firepower. It looks like machine gun rounds, but if they hit the mech, it actually explodes. So it's like, it's like, oh man, it's like, fuck, they have, it's like explosive ammunition rounds. That's a gun! Yeah! <laughs> your fucking gun's on fire, baby! Oh yeah, see he's getting closer now. Cause it's nighttime for him, so he, his accuracy is shit. Especially when I blew out his gun. His gun is shit now because he'll have less accuracy because of the fire. Re less reload time. Of course, I wish if you see a fire. Oh, that hit me though. Is he still coming closer? It looks like it, doesn't it? He is! He's getting closer! That's not his legs. But that's his shield. Oh! Uh, mechs do have, like, uh, decapitation in this game. It's mostly their shields. Um, if you decapitate their shield, then they will take more damage. Ah, oh, I was so close to fighting him. You may be on top of the AFW, AFW food chain, but we can still slow you down. You're not going anywhere near the captain. So, type one or wage jakers. I mean, this one is kind of well balanced on all fields it's good against infantry because it has a, its personal machine gun it's good against mechs from medium and far range because it's barrel and it's always the one that you have to defend he's like your king piece in chest you have to defend this piece or the piece will just the piece just uh you lose a game Ah, <laughs> you missed, you son of a bitch. Oh, can I get his legs? Right there! No, that's a body shot. Shit. Two more hits and it's dead, though. If I get hit it twice, that would be nice. I'm pretty sure he's safe right now. It's too he's too far away and it's nighttime. So the chance of it, of him hitting me is pretty slim. <laughs> Fuck, but I have a hard time landing it too. Fuck! Let me, let me see it! Let me get to that 75, baby! Come on, let me get it! Let me get it! Shit, he's already up. Oh, is that a gun? 
Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit, I'm hitting guns! Oh, we're long now. Holy shit. Yeah, he's, he's not able to hit me. Oh, but the timer's up. Wait. No, the timer's up. Shit. If you... So the range right there, if you go all the way to the left, you can actually retreat early in a fight. So if they caught you in a bad spot, you're, you're, um, you can always just keep moving backwards. And then you can just be automatically, like, retreating from the fight. So you don't have to stick around for the full, like, 99 seconds. Which is actually really nice, because if you're mechs in a bad spot, because the enemy attacked it way earlier than you, what you predicted, and you still need healing, you can actually just keep backing up. And you, you can be, you can be, um... You can retreat. So on that bar where it says short, if I'm all the way to the left, I, I actually can retreat. Of course, that's the same for them too. If they go all the way to the right, they can retreat. Which, w once you get to like the later stages of the game, if you just attack a mech, an AFW that's too low, they will try to retreat from the fights too. Which I think this is a killing shot right here. Come on. Come on. How was your New Year's, Diamond Bay? How was it, buddy? Sorry, I'm just so I'm just so enveloped into the game right now. <laughs> right there. That's a nice shot. There we go. Nice. So that kills that one. And we hit level 2 as well. Level is up to 2. Following skills improved. Action. 9218. And correction. Combat correction. This one's weapons destroyed too. I wish I can hurt its legs. It was fun, but too much alcohol. I'm really tired. <laughs> Why, well, thank you for joining the stream, though, bud. Thanks, buddy. Shit, that's right. Oh, I have Kahlua I have to drink. Which is totally, basically not alcohol. <laughs> it has like 3% in it. Our day was, you know... New Year's didn't really feel like it was on New Year's Day, you know? But I did get to play this game. I played a little bit of this game yesterday, so when I save, you're going to see it. Just to see if this game works on stream. Which, so far, I don't see any freezes. There is an audio bug every now and again, but that's just part of the game, too. The game literally had, like, some bugs on release. I remember. I, I remember one stage... Where the song would just overlap. But I actually got to that stage in this game and actually didn't overlap. So I was kind of thankful that... Wow, your damage is really shit. I mean, this this is the game I fell in love with. This was the game that I have not completed. And I played through the campaign at least 30 times. I spent hours on this game and I've never completed this game. I have always restarted over when I knew, when I felt like it was a final mission. And I just did not want to complete it at all. I did not. I said no, and I didn't complete it. <laughs> I restarted it. This one sucks, but it's gun, it's turret is also blown up too. I think the next mission is when it gets, like, really spicy, too. Because next mission introduces you to infantry. And infantry literally does a lot of things. Like, even the later stages of the game, the infantry will just- can just plant mines on the battlefield. So it restricts the enemy mech. Because they can, they can place mines behind you, too, and you don't know where they placed it. Damn, where the fuck did he go? 
enemy communications call them Keho. Who is he? Wayzaker! Return to base! We're calling out pursuit! Why? We can still catch it. No, you cannot. We can't afford to lose another vehicle. You understand? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, she leveled up. Rayo's level is up to two. Following skills improved. Action. Wow, she actually goes a lot faster than me because my action went down to 18. Her action is 16. In correction, so her aim's better, but her combat correction is worse. I think. Interesting. Well done, both of you. Here are the results from this exercise. Two kills. We have a situation. Wait in your quarters until further notice. Dismissed. Yes, sir, Colonel, wait. Wait, didn't you hear what he said? We gotta go back to our quarters. <laughs> How could this happen inside South Japan territory? We use it, the, we, what use is the border security force? Never seen anyone handle a prototype like that. A ghost of ten years past. Crimson Phantom, no less. There's a ring of death to that name. Crimson Phantom? Of all the phantoms, that could have re reappeared. I have a bad feeling about this one. Cutscene? Cutscene, I'm gonna be quiet. The, the text literally goes way too fast for me, so I'm gonna let everyone else read. <laughs> Pretty flat ass. <laughs> 